Hello my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the introvert and I'm back in my kitchen as you can see and I have another wonderful easy recipe to share with you all today. It is called hamburger pie. I think that you'll really enjoy this recipe. All the ingredients are very basic, very simple and easy and when you combine them together they make one delicious meal. So come on my friends, come and join me and I'll show you how to cook this. Here is a nice close-up of the recipe and all the ingredients that you're going to need. One pound of ground beef, half a cup of chopped onion, one can of green beans drained, one can of tomato soup, half a cup of water, half a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, three medium potatoes peeled, one beaten egg, milk, and half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Here is a nice close-up of the instructions and directions, and it's a very, very easy recipe to follow. I'm going to make just a few minor adjustments to this recipe, but it won't be anything overwhelming, of course. For starters, I want this to last us two suppers, tonight's supper and tomorrow night's supper. So I'm going to double the recipe for that. And another thing is I don't have canned green beans, but instead I have these wonderful green and yellow beans that I grew in my garden and they're frozen. So I have to cook these up first before I add them to my hamburger pie. So I'm gonna take one cup of these beans here and instead of this recipe only having beans in it, green beans, I'm going to add one cup of these frozen carrots. Yes, I like to freeze things, but it comes in handy. So instead of it all just being green beans, I'm gonna have a combination of both carrots and green and yellow beans. So that'll be nice. And let's go on to our very first step and get things moving. I have the hamburger and onions in the frying pan. The carrots in the back are almost cooked. And over here, the green beans are cooked and the potatoes for making mashed potatoes they're still cooking but I'm keeping a very close watch on them and over here I have my two cans of tomato soup all ready and open ready to roll I have the carrots and the beans, the green and yellow beans, in there with the hamburger. And now, uh, now I'm going to take my salt and pepper and just add that. Oh, I think I need a spoon to get that out. Okay, back again. <laughs> so I have the salt and pepper in this little bowl. Get that out. And the recipe also mentioned putting water in here. So instead of me just using plain water, I have the vegetable water that I cook the carrots and the beans in. And I'm, I use that for extra flavor. So that goes in. And next, I have to put both cans of tomato soup in this frying pan. The potatoes are still cooking but it won't be long and they'll be done. This is a very, very easy recipe and I would like to say that everything that I am making today's recipe with, hamburger, carrots, except for the beans, I grew them myself, 
but everything in this recipe I bought on sale. <laughs> yes, I didn't buy them the, in one day or the same week. I bought them over a period of time. But everything, including these cans of tomato soup, I bought on sale. The salt, pepper, and the milk, I will say that I bought for regular price. So that wasn't too bad, but I'm very happy that I was able to find all those sales and accumulate them. And then, when the right day came, like today, use them up. Just going to do a hand switch here. So I can hold on to the frying pan and get this all stirred in. Now the recipe also mentions about draining the grease. Once the hamburger is all cooked to drain the grease. But really, there really wasn't any grease, very much grease at all to drain. So I just let things be. Just had to mix it all in together. The hamburger mixture I just put into this pan here and the potatoes are cooked so I drained them and I'm just mashing them here. I have my eggs in this bowl and I'm going to use this fork and get them all beaded and mixed up and then I put the milk in to make some mashed potatoes. We're back to the hamburger and I'm just going to scoop on some of these mashed potatoes on the top. Just in mounds. In mounds they call it. <laughs> All of the mashed potatoes are on mounds in the pan and I have some grated cheese here that I'm going to sprinkle over the top of the potatoes. This is a lot like shepherd's pie in a lot of ways, except it has less vegetables in the meat mixture. And the potatoes have eggs in them. And for this recipe, you sprinkle cheese on the top which adds a really really nice flavor and I have the oven set at 350 degrees just use as much cheese as you want really and I think that's gonna be very very good it's been a little while since I've made hamburger pie but it is really really delicious and I'm sure that you will enjoy it too. I just put the hamburger pie in the oven and now I just have to wait 25 to 30 minutes. That's all it takes. It only takes 25 to 30 minutes to bake and then it's all done. So I'll be back here. I'll see you back here in 25 to 30 minutes. And I just took the hamburger pie out of the oven. And I want to give you a really nice close-up. Here it is. It smells very cheesy and delicious. I think I'll wait a few minutes just for it to cool down a tiny little bit before I have a taste test. Everything has cooled down. So now it's time for the grand taste test. Look at all this cheesy goodness. And there's still some steam there. Mmm, that looks good. Right in there. And that's what it looks like inside. Oh, I think I want that green bean. Let's see if I can get it out. There you go, it disappeared, it disappeared. There it is right there. 
that's going to be a nice taste test for me. And here it is. This looks really good. This will be nice to have for supper tonight. There it is. A lot of nice hamburger in there. And mashed potatoes and vegetables and cheese. You can see the cheese dangling there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's always such a pleasure just to have you here and share this recipe with me. Yes, it's always a good time to try out new recipes, but also older ones as well. Yes, it's been a while since I've made hamburger pie, but I'm so glad that I made it today. It's very good. <laughs> well, my friends, if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube Christmas thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.